hold them. All right. Well, we've got to Steve in for Kevin today, and you're like an auctioneer this week. It's like <laughs> the numbers are going higher and higher. You got here. 40. Do I hear 50? Yeah. How about 60? Sold. <laughs> Sold. I got all that. And by the way, welcome back uh, from oh, Houston. Thank you. you and George Vogel did a fantastic job. It was, right. it was fun the until the didn't end. deliver the win though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year. There's yeah. always next year. We're, yeah. That's. What we always do here in Cincinnati, right? <laughs> Take a look. Uh, the uh, Power 5 radar network right now showing dry conditions here in the tri-state. We had a lot of sunshine today, and we had a high temperature of 40 degrees. And really, that's just the beginning of a big warm-up. Take a look at my forecast temperatures of this January thaw as we head throughout the remainder of this week into the weekend. 48 degrees, my forecast high tomorrow. will be up to 50 on Wednesday, 55 on Thursday, and then into the low 60s on Friday and Saturday before falling back a bit there on Sunday. So, yeah, unseasonably mild, certainly for this time of the year, the middle part of January. Unfortunately, we've got some rain to go along with it. Salt and the winter gunk out there will soon get washed away. I've got rain in the forecast. It looks likely for Thursday and over the weekend. And one particular forecast model, the GFS, is hinting at the potential for some heavy rain Saturday and Sunday. Would you believe uh, one model in indicating we might see as much as four inches of rain. Now, that's not set in stone yet, but it just wanted to point that out, that uh, the potential is there for perhaps some heavy rain. No rain today. In fact, a beautiful sunset out there. Lots of uh, uh, clear sky overhead, 38 degrees, a wind chill of 33 as those winds are out of the south and southeast at 7 miles per hour. Temperatures around the tri-state region, everybody in the upper 30s to low 40s. Uh, the warm spot, uh, you folks right there in Aurora, Indiana and southeast Indiana, looking pretty nice, but... Uh, Pretty uniform temperatures all around the tri-state. If you're going to be heading out this evening, we'll slowly drop through the 30s under clear skies. 36 at 7 o'clock, 34 at 9, and we'll be down to 32 there at 11 o'clock. The big picture showing clear skies overhead. We're under the influence of high pressure, which is just now moving off to our east and to our southeast. We're on the backside, so that means uh, wind flow out of the south, and that's going to keep the warming going on as we head throughout the week. But eventually, we will see some rainfall. In fact, we'll sort it out for you right now with Futurecast 5 starting at 7 o'clock this evening. Clear skies, and we'll remain mainly clear as we head through the overnight hours into tomorrow. A lot of sunshine for your Tuesday as we head throughout the day. Now for tomorrow night into early Wednesday, we'll see those clouds begin to increase and then some rain maybe as early as late Wednesday night. If not, then certainly during the day on Thursday. Tonight, though, no rain. Clear skies, 28 degrees. Not quite so cold this morning. We drop down to 19 degrees tomorrow then for your Tuesday. 48 for the high under mostly sunny skies, so continued warmer. How about Wednesday? Up to 50. 55 on Thursday. Rain likely. Very mild into the low 60s on Friday, and we'll keep the 60s around on Saturday. But again, that rain looks likely over the weekend, and it could be heavy at times. Enjoy the mild temperatures, because check out Monday, just 39 for the high then. Guys? Cool.